So in this video, we'll be talking about and comparing two popular YouTubers that a lot of you might know and even follow. If you don't follow them, you're gonna find out what exactly you're missing out on. First of them is the Chateau Diaries owned and operated by Stephanie Jarvis, where she shares her experience of living in a French chateau. The channel has hit 197,000 subscribers ever since it was created back in 2018. Stephanie bought the chateau in 2005, pulling in with her friend for a whopping 590,000 pounds. She admits in a video of hers being anxious after making the big purchase because the amount needed to finance a chateau that big was far more than what they had estimated. After getting into the whole thing renovated and redesigned in their own way, they plan on turning it into a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, 2020 happened and the lockdown ruined their plans, so Jarvis, who already used to make vlogs, decided to turn to YouTube for full-time earning. Oops, we forgot about our second guy. It's hard to be doing all the work by ourselves, but not for Michael Pethrick, of course. He is the mind and soul of doing it ourselves. This channel was started in 2012 and has 235k subscribers since. Michael moved into the chateau with his brother and his fiancée. They did a complete makeover of the place so they could accommodate their whole family into the setting. He can be seen painting walls, gardening and doing multiple chores and activities inside the chateau himself. His channel has over 16 million views and now we're gradually moving the, to the comparison part. If Michael's channel has 16 million views since 2012, can you make a rough guess of the total views Stephanie's channel would have got given she started much later than Michael in 2018? 57 million. That doesn't sound believable, right? But it is true. Maybe the reason her channel clocked a higher viewership than doing it ourselves lies in her style of vlogging and the difference in presentation. Stephanie comes out really vibrant and enthusiastic and prefers to shoot more in the open lawns. On the other hand, Michael prefers to shoot most of his videos indoors. Also, there's quite a time gap between Michael's videos. Like, he takes weeks to upload new ones, while Stephanie is more active and uploads new videos within a few days. So the frequency of uploading obviously works out well for the Chateau Diaries. Also, Stephanie Jarvis shoots videos outside the Chateau too. Perhaps that's the quite extra she does for her audience. Doesn't let her audience get bored by giving them a sneak peek into her life outside the Chateau. Did you know there's a connection between the two? Both of them are from England, living in chateaus and fond of antique collections. They're in fact quite well acquainted with each other. This has often led to their fans to believe they're actually in a relationship, but those are just cooked up stories. All we know is that they're great friends who met at the ETTC DIY program. So the relationship theory is ruled out, and if we head back to the comparison, it really isn't up to us for deciding. The ball is in the audience's court. They're the ones who decided PewDiePie's fate against T-Series and the subscriber count war, and they're the ones who determine the fate of every single creator on YouTube. Going by statistics though, we cannot rule out the fact that Chateau Diaries is way ahead of doing it ourselves if the audience likability is a major factor. But also, statistics aren't the only parameters to evaluate. Who knows, Michael watches our video, gets pumped, and decides to beat his alleged friend in viewership. Don't know how long we'll have to wait for that, so we'll be taking your leave. Thanks for reading. Subscribe for more stories like these. See you soon.